Weaving ketupat is actually like a, what do you call it? Ah? It's like a disease ah, because once you start to do one, you you get used to it, then you keep on weaving. <laughs> My name is Agus. Okay, I'm turning 55. Uh, hopefully by end of August this year, and collect my CPF. No more. <laughs> Okay, I started to make ketupat at a very young age when I was in a kampong. So I learned to make this from my dad. Since then, I've been doing this like almost every Hari Raya. So even before I was married, after I got married and I got my three children, and actually I tried to instill this heritage of making ketupat to the next generation. Uh, I'm Afika. I, I'm Agus' eldest daughter. <laughs> During Hari Raya, when we prepare for Hari Raya, this is one activity that is like one of the fun thing about like preparation for Hari Raya lah. Yeah, so that's why we enjoy it really much. So it was like something fun to do lah. So when we try to follow, but we can't, but we just play with the leaves. Sometimes you have family gatherings with my grandparents. Our grandparents will also weave. Now that we are older and we learn the skill, so we weave together with them. It's something that is some unique to us. So like it's something that we have to hold on to lah. So we try to make it a practice to weave every year lah, as a family. Yeah. The legend was that when we weave uh, ketupat after one month of fasting, is to admitting to our sins and trying to become better. When we open the ketupat, it's actually just white rice, right? White is to symbolize purity, as if that we are reborn as new after the end of fasting month because we are like cleansing our sins, lah. And then when we celebrate Raya, it's a success of all that, lah. Basically, there are various types of ketupat. When you look at uh, satay ketupat, it's, it's squarish, but it's, it's very flat. But the Hari Raya ketupat is actually squarish and there is a depth of about one inch. We have another version which is called the onion tart, which actually a bit a uh, shape of an onion. For, for me, I only like one type of ketupat, the Hari Raya ketupat. I think it is more uh, authentic as a ketupat. I feel it looks very nice. As a child, I only, we will only see ketupat during Raya. So that's, that's the indication we're always going to be Hari Raya soon. And yeah. So like, it's one of like the once in a year kind of celebration that we look forward to every year. And then what I remember during young was that when I was young, like my mom will always will make me to send the dishes to the neighbors, and then we will exchange dishes with the neighbors. So I will go to like the seventh floor, to the fourth floor, to the different Malay neighbors, Indian neighbors, Chinese neighbors. Within the block, we will give some of our raya dishes. We also give our raya kuis that we make. So it's a form of like our gesture to celebrate lah. So we want to celebrate this joyous occasion with everybody. So we celebrate with everyone in the block. Yeah. <laughs> When I was in about second to JC, I think there was a point of time when Hari Raya was during like exam period and stuff like that. So like we still make ketupat. So even though it's tiring, but I feel like it's worth it because when you when you see it the next day, it's all dry, it's nice, and it's ready to eat. And then we start to exchange with our family, friends, and then when we eat it as a family, like the ketupat that we make together with the dishes that we cook, the bonding within the family is very precious to me. So I think that's one of the most memorable memory like, that I have as a family during Hari Raya. 